Right muckers. Well, Cromer, up here in North Norfolk, uh, is famous for several things. Obviously things such as the, the pier, you can see behind us, as well as the beach, the cliffs, and of course, fish and chips. Unfortunately, this is where a lot of tractors have found their final resting place. And uh, I think this will be no exception. I think this is a newer, and I say the term very loosely, I think it's a newer Muir Hill because there was one here for years. It was in such bad condition because of the corrosion from the salt water that every year there was less and less of it and they welded bits on and so on and so forth. This one looks again fairly complete. Now I've watched this old girl over the years slowly corrode and get eaten away by the ravages of salt water. It was a nice tractor when it arrived here, like most of them. They were all nice when they arrived here, you know. Maybe they've passed their best, but they've still got a good day in them. But that's the thing that we should remember. Just because they're not being used for farming anymore, not in agriculture, the fishermen use them to take the boats to the shoreline and launch them. And when they've gone out, they'll get all the crab pots. Because that's what they use, they're crab boats. You know, famous thing for Chroma is the chroma crab and it's quite a big industry around here you know has been for, for years once they've got all the crab they bring them back to the shore the tractors are the ones that go out again with the boat uh, trailers and retrieve the boats and bring them back up here so they're still a working still a working machine it's just that it's a hard life and it's it's basically a one-way ticket You can just see what the salt water does to these poor old things. The only thing that gives them any chance at all is where there's an oil leak. Now as bits corrode and rot off, these old boys, they make other bits to keep them going. Yeah, I know, it's a nice example at the moment. But as I said, this isn't a, you know, this isn't a rally field. This is, this is a, a working environment. And the fishermen have got to earn a living. So uh, it's unfortunate, but it's, it's the reality. Now this is a real shame uh, for me to see on, on many levels. Uh, the main thing being that, actually case 1594, like, I used to run years ago um, but you're now starting to see more we'll say the term modern tractors down here uh, I know it's not you know right current and whatever um, but I doubt the electronics would fare very well but they are they're a you know a, a modern classic years ago you, all you would see would be the Ford and Majors down here apart from as I said the old Muir Hill that was here for years on a Saturday morning open up the local paper and you would see, oh, I don't know, half a dozen Fordsons for sale between 200 quid and 500 quid. All good, you know, good, good condition, good runners, and they were there for the taking. That's all you ever saw up here. But as time has gone on, obviously, bigger boats requiring more horsepower. These become older tractors, obviously, and not everybody's a collector. What to say really as much as I understand that as I said this is this is their livelihood this is how they make their their living it's hard to see something like a TW20 on a place which is let's face it is gonna be its final resting place but like I always say um, you know, if you want it, you've got to put your hand in your pocket. Same way these boys did. Whoever owns this, he went out and bought it fair and square. We all had the same chance, uh, just that he got there first. But yeah, it's a shame. But... And at the moment, it's still, still a nice example. As I say, at the moment, she's still relatively good. 
even the cab's not bad. Again, this isn't the, the original one I was speaking about that was here for years and just basically rusted and corroded and they kept welding new bits on just to keep it going. So this is a, yet another Muir Hill down here, one of two of them that's going to see its final days here on the beach at Cromer. But even more sad than that, in my opinion, is this. Now when this first arrived down here, uh, which wasn't that long ago, just a few years ago, I can remember it standing here beside, believe it or not, a Case uh, 1594 commemorative edition. That's not here at the moment, so whether that was then subsequently sold on, or, or maybe just became so rotten that they, they had to get rid of it, I don't know, but it's, it's not here anyway. Like I said, the 956 is here, and this Muir Hill. Now I've come a bit further along the North Norfolk coast to, to Weyburn. Totally different type of beach. Look, this is just like an old sort of shingle beach. And it's very, very steep. It's not that nice gradual slope that there was uh, at Cromer. See up there, look. How steep that is there, look. Conventional tractors, even four wheel drive ones, would simply just dig in. And because of that, here, they use crawlers. So this one here is a track marshal, that's a dozer. So it's got a winch on the back pulling the boat up. But obviously the blade helps as well because he can dig that in. Now I'd imagine also having a dozer blade is very handy because that is so steep down to the actual water line, he can probably just doze himself a slope down uh, to go down and come back up again, making the whole job a lot easier. Now this one is a, I say it's a track marshal, but it's marked as the old Aveling Marshal as it was at that time. They were bad just Aveling Marshal. Um, Perkins 6354 engine in there, cracking bit of kit. But again, you know, so much steel work, the old salt really doesn't do them any good whatsoever. I mean, it's absolutely seized solid there, that adjuster and everything. You can no hope of that. That must do these poor old bits. A nice little old track marshal. But again, the ravages of time haven't been kind to the poor old girl, but they've had to try and keep the adjusters out by putting a big old lump of steel in there. And an old Jubilee clip round it as well. The old track wants a bit of wind in it. Now it's a lovely old Fiat. I always did like the Fiat crawlers. And this one's uh, in fairly good shape uh, at the moment. And it's got a winch on it as well. Yeah, that is a, it's a nice looking bit of kit. And then hidden away here is this little old beauty. Now years ago, a bit further down that way, down the coast towards Cromer at West Runton, there was a load of these uh, track marshals and along here. So. There don't seem to be as many of these left up here now. And again, I think we all know what's happened to them, the inevitable. Um, but she looks like one, she was maybe one of the original ones I can remember here from years ago. But um, now, you, as I said, with this type of shingle, it, it's the only way really to get up and down the beach. Uh, because hey, a normal conventional tractor, as I said, even four wheel drive would just simply dig in. Uh, and uh, tracks are the answer. So there we go from Cromer right along the coast to Waven and beyond. These tractors, both uh, old and some more new, uh, are still earning a living. Uh, that's a very hard and harsh living. But at the end of the day, like I said, I, I don't begrudge those fishermen, um, you know, something that'll do the job and do it well. Because the thing is with the tide, you have only got a small window in which to get the boat in and then back out. 
and there's no time to mess around. So the bit of kit they have has to be able to do the job as and when they need it. So there we go, muckers. Looks like it's that time again. And don't forget, you can keep up with what we're up to in the week uh, on a Wednesday with my weekly video, which shows some of the other stuff I do. As soon as he got down and went, <clears throat> we'd stuck a chopper in and chopped the fucking lot. F your old straw. And uh, regular videos on the Sunday. Anyway, muckers, until the next one. Do well.